Hola chicos, bienvenidos otra vez. Welcome to the vocab builder for Victor's Adventures in Spain, the um, parallel textbook, and amongst other things. And here we're in the O letters. Now this is short and sweet, okay? And some of them are very easy. So first one is the word offer. I'm going to make you an offer, okay? I'll offer you something. Um, and that, and the word offer is oferta. Oferta. It's virtually the same, but it's got ta on the end. Okay, so it's like saying ta, thanks, ta for the offer, thanks for the offer, but no. Mm, okay, oferta. Ta for the offer. Okay, next one. It's very difficult. This one. Uh, office. Office is oficina. Oficina or oficina. Okay. So easy. All you have to do is think, I work in a office. Oficina. 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 Okay. So I work in an office. Ina. Just got an Ina on the end. Oficina. Oficina. Next one, I, I, okay, or eyes, is ojos. Ojos, got a bit of a J in there, you've got to get that j. Ojos, so one eye is ojo, okay. So, if somebody poked you in the eye, you would say, ojo, okay, or maybe not, but that, just imagine that, you. somebody pokes you in the eye, you go, ojo. Okay, ojo. Okay, next one is option. Option, I'm giving you the option of learning these words quickly or even more quickly. Okay, so option is opción. O opción. So listen, option, opción, or opción. Same, no different. So there's nothing to, you need to remember. Just that option is opción, okay? And what about this one? Opinion. Opinion is opinión. <laughs> the only difference is watch out for the accent. So can you see in the Spanish version it's opinión. So the emphasis goes on the last O. Whereas in English we say opinion. So we, opinion, so we put it on a different place, yeah? Okay, so opinion, and all of the vowels are pronounced opinion, okay? Very good, so it's the same, nothing you need to remember there. And then computer, now, depending on which country you're going to spend time in, you need to know different the different names. If, I believe, that in the majority of Latin America, they use computadora. Computadora, okay? So that's easy to remember because all you need to do is imagine your computer and it's got a little door on it, okay? Computadora. So you've just got a little door that opens. You have really, it's a um, cup holder, isn't it? Little slidey door, okay? Then, if you are in uh, Spain, for example, if you spend time in Spain, then the word for computer is ordenador. Ordenador, ordenador. Now, that one is it's easy to remember as well because computers are designed to put into order things, to put things in order. Yeah. So it's ordenar. That's where it comes from, the verb. Ordenar is to put into order. So, ordenador, okay? So again, just imagine your computer, you're ordering things, putting things in order, and it's got a door on it, okay? Ordenador. So, computadora or ordenador. You choose. Both of them are completely understandable. Bien. Okay. So, that's the O's. Yeah. Se han acabado. Finished. So, let's check. First of all, 
oferta. Oferta is offer. Ta for the offer. Offer. Oferta. Oficina. Oficina. Office, of course. What about this one? Ojo. Ojo. Ow. Ojo. Ay. Ojo is ay. And ojos are eyes, obviously. Then we've got this one. Opción. Or opción. Easy. Option, yes? And what about this one? Opinión. Opinión. Opinion. Excellent. And then finally, ordenador. Is puts things into order, got a door on it, your computer. Or, what was the other one? Computadora. Computadora. Okay, so that's the O. Oh. Now just let me tell you about gender, okay? Let's take a moment to talk about the gender. I'm giving you these words without the word the in front of them, okay? But you do need to know whether these words are masculine or feminine. Now most times, most times, the words that end with O are masculine. And the words that end with A are feminine. Okay? There are also other little tips that of, of ways that you can know whether a word's masculine or feminine. But what I shall do is in the book itself and in the in the information of how to remember it, everything I talk about here is kind of in minute scale in the book. Um, I'll have all of the genders in the words, okay? And I'll also add a little tip so that you know how you can identify words just by listening to them to work out whether whether they're masculine or feminine. You'll be right 90% of the time. Ok, bien. Entonces, nos vemos en el siguiente video y audio. So, we won't see each other in the next audio, but we'll hear each other. Ok, hasta luego chicos. Adiós.